Okay, Scallywags, quick side trip here. It's Mike, electrical instructor. A couple of you spied this thing in the first week of electrical class and said, seriously, Beamer, is that really an electric truck? And the answer is absolutely yes. Built this little Chevy S10 myself. Um, I had a, I built an electric bike years ago. Didn't work out very well. Then I had this ridiculous clown car. It's a little like golf cart I drove around all over the place. It was built in the 70s called the city car which is, uh, was for the gas crunch, and you know, it was ridiculous. People laughed at me, took, took my picture driving it all the time. So I haul stuff all the time. I'm hauling lumber, I'm hauling recycling, I pull my boat, you name it. I, I just needed a pickup truck. So I always get asked, well, what is it? Well, it's a 144 volt DC system. I bought everything used on eBay and scrounged it together. And eight batteries here in the back. They're all in series. Sparkies, get used to that. So if I put 12 12 volt batteries in series, I've got the 144 volts. It's all orange cable. Orange, I've got it marked on this cover as well. High voltage electric vehicle. So if I ever get in an accident, the EMS, people show up on scene, they know that this has some potentially lethal voltage in it. So I get the batteries done. How far will it go? Not very, 15 miles. How fast? Not bad. 60, 70 miles an hour is no problem whatsoever. So I uh, just plug it into my shop with this boat cord, 220 volts, or I can charge it right here or anywhere I plug in at my friend's house, I can steal electricity on 110. And so it takes a few hours to recharge for those miles. No big deal. Uh, the beauty of it is I want to know what it really costs. So I took this uh, kilowatt meter and uh, kilowatt hours and plugged it in just like you pay for electricity on your house and kept track for three months, whopping 1.6 cents per mile. So I can drive the three miles from my house to Marine Tech for a nickel's worth of electricity. That's dang cool. Haul stuff, no emissions. So what's it got under the hood? Well, it's got a nine inch advanced DC motor, brush motor that you can't even see buried underneath this platform here. It's got an adapter, goes right to the stock Chevy transmission. Simple speed control in the blue box with a little resistor on the throttle, zero to 5K, puts out between zero and 144 volts. That's how fast you're going. Um, I also had to have the um, uh, converter. So I got a DC to DC converter that runs from the 144 volts down to this 12 volt battery. We got to keep the 12 volt system alive. I got to have the legal stuff, turn signals, headlights, things like this. So it's, it's all, it's all legal. It runs, um, super tickle. So to look inside, I've had it for, this will be my fourth year at school. So I've driven it for three years already. And we have, um, pretty simple get inside here. We've got the, the speed hut. Uh, speedometer. I had it custom made zero to 60 miles an hour because normally I drive between 25 and 35 miles an hour. So that's all I need. You can see we put a little over 7,000 miles on it, but look at this. That's a bilge pump counter. And I keep track of trips because my boat is a mile from here. The hardware is a half a mile. The lumber yard's a quarter mile. I'd start and stop all day long. And that's where electric vehicles are awesome. We're not starting and stopping an internal combustion engine. So 4,451 trips I've put on this thing, which is crazy. So, but it works. I got the 12 volt um, meter right there. You can, so I can always make sure that that battery is charged. Everything else is just like a regular pickup truck. You just put it in a forward, you put it in reverse, you push the gas pedal and away you go. So this has been a super fun project. This is what I like to do. Build things, make things, figure things out. So thanks for watching.